Breaking, Obama busted. Look what he did. Government corruption and former President Barack Obama seem to go together like peanut butter and chocolate, and what's worse is that the abuse goes beyond the president himself and includes many individuals he chose for his administration. Take Lois Lerner for example. She was a high-ranking IRS official who took it upon herself to target conservative groups looking for tax-exempt status simply as a means of trying to shut them up in their opposition to the re-election of President Obama. Then there's the VA scandal, the debacle with calling ISIS junior varsity, and on the list goes. Oh and let's not forget his numerous extravagant vacations and golf outings. But the buck doesn't stop there. Apparently another administration official from Obama's time in office is also guilty of abusing their authority, unlawfully billing more than $4,000 for taxi rides from his home to the U.S. Patent and Trademark Office headquarters. Fox News is reporting. Vic Rumeyer, who served as chief of staff of the agency, a part of the U.S. Department of Commerce, forced taxpayers to foot a bill for at least 130 unauthorized taxi rides the majority of which occurred during a four-month period in 2016, according to a report released Tuesday by investigators, The Washington Post reported. A previously served as President Obama's senior policy advisor at the National Economic Council. He allegedly impersonated other current and former high-ranking agency officials, using their names on taxi receipts to avoid being caught in the unauthorized scheme. But the ruse was soon discovered after officials started raising questions. They confronted the Patent and Trademark Office's then-communications director, one of the names they used to bill the rides, who told investigators that he did not use the taxis as he regularly drove to work. The evidence, establishes that political appointee knowingly used the agency's cab company account for impermissible purposes on a routine basis and that he took steps to conceal his unauthorized use of this account by providing false names and false location information, Commerce Department Investigator General Peggy Gustafson wrote in the report, according to the Post. Ayer's use of government money to pay for his commute violated federal policy prohibiting such practices. Ayer also used the cabin billed taxpayers for social excursions on weekends, but wrote up the expenses as something entirely different so as not to be discovered. They say you can tell a lot about a person by the company you keep, and given the kind of characters Obama surrounded himself with, I'd say we learned a lot about his integrity, or lack thereof, during his time in office. Ayer is just another example of the corrupt individuals appointed by the former president who took advantage of his position and abused his power, oppressing the citizens of our nation by misusing tax funds the average working man would have used to pay his own bills. This sort of waste is precisely why we're so far in debt as a nation, and why cutting politicians and government salaries are a good place to start when attempting to balance the budget. Together we will make America great again. Great again.